So I'm interested in how you can use um, analytics, data mining, predictive analytics particularly, in operational systems. So I'm interested in the support Teradata offers for that kind of high-end analytics, uh, particularly when you get into sort of transactional, real-time kinds of environments. There's a focus on improving the time to create analytics uh, and including in that data mining and predictive analytics, not just BI and reporting and dashboards. So that's a great focus that Teradata has had for a while. And obviously the focus on operational environments. So how do you deliver this? And one of the things that I was reassured by in Randy's presentation was the, that the, when you get to these operational systems, it's not the same technology done faster. It's not faster reports, faster dashboards. It's a different set of technologies. Web services, service-oriented architecture, integration with operational systems. And so that was good to see reiterated, that it's not just the same stuff done quicker, which is what I hear from too many vendors. But then in the, in the, the, the 13 stuff, the focus on temporal stuff was really interesting because one of the big challenges in analytics is you're trying to say, when I get data about a customer, what can I predict about them? Well, in order to do that, you have to be able to go back into your warehouse and say, what did I know about my old customers when they first became a customer? So that I can see what, they, what I knew then that would predict their subsequent behavior. And, and an inability to do that is a critical problem in analytics. And so the temporal stuff will make that kind of analytic model much easier to do out of the warehouse. And today, far too much data mining is done out of raw transaction logs sucked out of the transaction systems, not from the warehouse. So that was, that was a really interesting feature. I think will we'll change the way analytics is built out of a Teradata warehouse. Teradata customers typically have far more of the data they need for data mining in their data warehouse than most people do because they don't put summaries in the data warehouse, they put everything in the data warehouse. So that helps for starters. But the temporal stuff is really important because you know, data miners and analytics folks always want to do relative dates. What happened 30 days after you became a customer, 60 days after you became a customer? And anything that makes that kind of query easier will for sure make it quicker to build models, let you iterate faster, and therefore you'll do more modeling, which is a critical constraint today. I'm looking forward to, to, to more discussions on the in-database analytics and, and the partnership with SAS and, and how that's going, because that's obviously a big deal uh, from my perspective. Um, and I'm just interested to see what other kinds of things might be going on just in terms of the infrastructure. Obviously a lot of the stuff is yeah, below the level that I tend to think about, but I'm interested to see what other features like the temporal stuff might be coming or might be being talked about to see how that uh, will play.